praise the Lord everyone. Thank you for watching 10 Minutes with Jesus. Today I'm going to talk about how we can overcome the distractions of this world. So uh, first of all, let's go ahead and pray. Lord God, we thank you for this day, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for another day in your presence, oh God. Lord, we thank you, God, for the, for the word that you have for us today, Lord God. Let your word go forth on good ground today, Lord. Convict us, Lord, of any area of our life, any distraction, Lord, that we need to turn away from, Lord God, and, and, to, and turn back to you with our whole hearts, Lord. Help us, Lord, to overcome every distraction, Lord, that would try to keep us from doing your will or your calling, Lord. We want to do your, uh, do, live according to your word, Lord Jesus. Lord, we want everything that we do to be according to your word, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Like your word declares, let everything that is done in word or deed be done in the, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord. Lord, help us live by the, this verse, O oh God. Lord, help us, Lord to grow in our faith each day, Lord. We want to be doers of your word, Lord, not just hearers, oh God. Lord, help us prepare our minds and our hearts for your word today, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Uh, so I'm going to um, start out by reading uh, Mark 4, verse 19. It says, um, But the worries of the world and the deceitfulness of riches and the desires for other things enter in and choke out the word and it becomes unfruitful so um, the worries of this world um, or deceitfulness of riches or any desires for other things um, they tend to enter into our lives and what happens is that chokes out the word of God from us and we become unfruitful in the kingdom of God so it's just so important to be on guard and be aware um, of that, that, that the enemy is very um, deceitful and, and, and he allows these things of the world to get our attention and tries to use these things to, to get our eyes off, keep our eyes off Jesus. But, but, but what Jesus wants is he wants our whole hearts, he wants our whole our minds to be focused on him he wants our full devotion to him amen he wants us to live by faith and not by sight daily God wants us to truly be um, the branch and he, and he be the vine so that we could bear much fruit in the kingdom of God that's what what, what Jesus wants what he expects from us so um, we just need to be aware, everyone, that, um, that, that that there's so many things out there in the world that are crying for our attention. But we just we just need to to, to just turn our our eyes and our ears away from them, amen, and and keep our eyes fixed on Jesus because the word says, um, yeah, keeping your your eyes fixed on Jesus for He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Um, Proverbs 14, verse 12, it says, There is a way which seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. So, th there are things that may seem to be right, but according to the Word of God, um, it, 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 go, it may go contrary to the Word of God, or it may not even be in the Word of God. So, it's, it's just so important that... that we are seeking direction through the Word of God and not through our ourselves, not through others, not through um, the traditions of men, but but uh, in the Word of God. Amen. Um, Matthew uh, six thirty three. It says, "But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you." Um, so we first first thing we need to do each day is to seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and he will take care of everything else um, when we begin our day in prayer that sets, sets a good stage for our day where God would, would, would work in our, our day and bless our day amen and even if we're facing a struggle or a challenge God will help us get through it amen 
God will give us the strength through His Spirit to um, to get through the day. Amen. Whatever the enemy may try to throw against us, whatever fiery darts that may come our way, God will um, give us the strength through His Spirit to overcome whatever um, fiery darts that come our way. Amen. Um, Colossians 3 verse 2 it says set your mind on things above not on things on this earth amen so it's important but if you notice the verse says set your mind so it, it's all a part of the mind everything we do um, we, we're, we're thinking of we're thinking what, what, what should we do now what, what should we do tomorrow um, and this verse is saying to set your mind on things that are above, things of the kingdom of God, things that are found in the Word of God. It's so important to meditate on scriptures, to um, to memorize scriptures. It's just so important if we want to have a weapon against the enemy when, when he tries to throw fiery darts. When we have the Word of God in us, through us, uh, flowing through us, um, we have all the weapons we need to overcome um, depression, um, worldly sins, worldly lusts, amen. Praise God. Praise God for that. Amen. Um, Ephesians 6.16, 6, it says, In addition to all, taking up the, sh the shield of faith, which you will be able to extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Praise God. So look, just like I was saying, um, we have all the weapons the weapons of our warfare are not are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds. Praise God. That, that's found in the Word of God. I forget which um, uh, book that's in, but um, that's a great verse that, that we can look to when we're struggling. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Um, um, it's all about the faith. It's all about living by faith each day. And, and this verse says, taking up the shield of faith. So, faith is a shield, is our shield, amen, against the enemy, against any distractions. We, we, we have weapons, amen, that, are, that will allow us to overcome the enemy, amen. Praise God, praise God for that. Um, um, how do we grow in faith? How do we... Um, how does our faith increase or um, or grow? Amen. Well, let's go to Ephesians Ephesians six sixteen. It says, "In addition to all," um, or I'm sorry, uh, Romans ten seventeen. Yeah, let's go to Romans ten seventeen. It says, uh, "So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God." So that's where our faith comes from. It's from the Word of God. If, if we need to, to uh, grow in faith or any, any, area, any area of our life, we just need to hear the Word of God. We need to allow the Word of God to take root in our lives, in our hearts, in our minds. Amen. Um, praise God. And the Bible says we must be doers of the word, not just hearers. We need to be doers of what the word says, because the word says, um, "Faith without works is dead." Amen. Um, praise God. Uh, Matthew four four it says, "But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall live, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God." Praise God. So um, that's the only way that we, we can live, that we can truly survive in this life, truly survive every trial or tribulation is um, by every word that comes from God, which is found in the Word of God. Amen. Praise God. Um, the Bible says, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. So. Our steps are ordered by God and His Word, amen. And another word says, Thy Word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Praise God. Um, 
Um, Matthew 17, 20 and 21, I'm going to be reading that. It says, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say to this mountain, Remove hence yonder, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible for you. Howbeit this kind uh, goeth not out but, but by prayer and fasting. So if we have any distraction or any uh, trial that, or any um, obstacle that is, um, that we can't uh, get past, we, we, we need to, first, we need to have faith. We need to um, have faith just the size, the size of a mustard seed. And we need to, whatever mountain it is, whatever mountain of, of addiction or what, a mountain of, of uh, unbelief or mountain of um, opposition, we just need to, to uh, speak to that mountain, be removed, and God will remove it. God, God is able to remove it because the Bible says, with God all things are possible. Amen. Um, and then it says, Howbeit this kind go, goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. The only way that, that God will, will, tr that will completely remove these obstacles or um, mountains from, from our lives is by prayer and fasting. If, if we get on, get on our knees, go before the Lord, and, and push the, the food aside for a day, God will really begin to move in our life. God will clearly begin to speak through us through His Word his word will begin to take root and we'll begin to, to truly hear his voice. Amen. God, God will speak to us through his word. When we hear his word, God will speak things to us that will um, convict us of, of, our, of the distractions or convict us of the sins that we need to let go, that we need to repent of. Amen. Um, that's the only way that we're truly going to overcome distractions of, of this world. Amen. Over overcome distractions of sin or, or even addictions amen that's the only way that god will truly deliver us that, that god will truly break those chains amen is by prayer and fasting amen praise god um and uh, um, finally i'm, I'm going to be reading um matthew 16 24 through 26 uh, then jesus said unto his disciples if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? So it's so important that if we want to be disciples, truly be disciple, disciples of Jesus, we first need to come to Jesus. We need to come to the foot of the cross. We need to repent of our sins, allow Jesus to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And um, yes, we need to come to Jesus first. Um, um, we also need to deny ourselves. We need to deny our self. Self can get in the way of the things of God in our lives. Our self, our our intentions, our motives, or our um, des like our um, des the des desires of the heart, they can they can be wicked. Amen. So we need to deny ourselves daily. We need to um, be humble in our hearts. Amen. And allow God to uh, control us. We need to follow after the things of the Spirit. The Bible says uh, we need. To to walk after the spirit and if we do we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh amen um so um yeah we need to first then deny ourselves then we need to take up our cross amen and once we take up our cross then we need to follow jesus amen so we need to die die daily taking up our cross means to, to die daily to uh our flesh, amen, because our flesh can get in the way of God. It, it, our flesh can get in the way of the kingdom of God, amen, and, and operating in the kingdom of God. So in order to overcome that, 
we need to die daily. We need to pray that verse. Um, God, you must increase in me and I must decrease. That's how we take up our cross, amen. We need to die daily. We need to die to our flesh, amen. Um, and we need to follow Jesus. The Bible says, yeah, the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. Our steps are ordered by Jesus in his word, amen. Um, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. If we try to hold on to our life, what we want to do, we'll lose it. We'll lose out at the end. But when we uh, lose our life for his sake, we're, we're going to find it. We're going to find our purpose. We're going to find our calling. We're going to find that which God called us to do when we lose our life for his sake. When we say, not my will, Lord, but let your will be done today. When we do that, God will clearly give us direction. Amen. God will clearly give us the direction we need for this for the day or the week ahead or the month ahead. Amen. Um, and, and the next verse, it, it's basically saying that we will profit nothing if we gain the whole world. If we try to gain this world, we'll, 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 we will lose our soul. So it's just so important that we um, that we live according to the word of God, amen, that we we humble ourselves daily, pray daily, read the word daily. When we do this, we're exercising our spiritual muscles, Lord, um, amen, praise God. We, we are truly exercising our faith when we um, are, are um, getting into, deep into the word of God and we were meditating on it, on, meditating on the word, journaling as we are reading. When we do that, we're going to clearly find direction. We're going to clearly find answers to the questions that we have in this life, to people that we need to reach, people that we need to witness to, because God, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all would come to repentance. Just so important that, that, um, that we uh, are reaching others too with the gospel, amen. Because there's there's a lot of lost, hungry souls out there. So, um, but let's first um, allow Jesus to cleanse us, cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We just first need to repent, and um, when we do that, God will give us the faith that we need to overcome the the, the distractions of this world. That's the only way that we're going to overcome distractions of this world is by uh, growing in faith, amen, by living faith to faith in, 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 in Jesus, amen. That's all it takes is living by faith, walking by faith, walking in the Spirit, amen. So let's go ahead and pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day, O God. Lord, we thank you for the word we received today, O God. Lord. I pray, Lord, for myself and everyone that's watching, Lord God, that you would begin to move in our hearts and our minds, Lord God, and convict us, Lord, of anything that is distracting us, Lord, any addiction or anything, Lord, that is trying to keep our, our eyes off of you, Lord God. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would remove those distractions, Lord God, that you would remove the things of this world, Lord, that are trying to choke us from the kingdom, O oh God, that are trying to pull us away from your kingdom, O oh God. Lord, we bind every spirit of the enemy, O oh God. We cast it aside, Lord, everything that would try to get our attention from this world, Lord. We cast it aside, Lord, any uh, lustful thought, Lord, any uh, lustful desires, Lord Jesus. Lord, we, we cast them aside, Lord Jesus. We repent of those things, Lord, and we turn to you, O oh God. Lord, we, uh, we Help us, Lord, to keep our eyes fixed on you, O oh God. Lord, you are the author and the finisher of our faith, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to live rooted and grounded in love in you, Lord Jesus. Lord, help us, Lord, to grow in our relationship with you, Lord God. Lord, we want to be good and faithful servants each day, Lord. We want to live according to thy word, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to live according to thy word, O oh God. Lord, show us the way, Lord Jesus. Let your word light unto our feet and our path, Lord Jesus. 
Hallelujah, Lord. Let thy word light unto our our feet and, and, and our, our path, Lord Jesus. We need your direction today, Lord. Yes, Lord, thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for all the promises of your word, O oh God. Lord, let your will be done in our lives, Lord God. Lord, we don't want to live defeated, Lord. We want to be overcomers, O oh God. We want to be... Uh, we want to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, O oh God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Let your word be in full operation in our lives, Lord God. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord, to grow in faith, Lord. Help us, Lord, to uh, put on the shield of faith, Lord God, so we'll be able to dis so every uh, uh, fiery dart would be ex dis distinguished extinguished lord hallelujah help us lord to put on the full armor of god lord so hallelujah thank you jesus we need you father we need you today lord without you we can do nothing but with you all things are possible lord no weapons that are formed against us shall prosper we thank you lord we give you all the glory honor and praise for what you're doing right now and what you're going to continue to do in our lives lord we pray all these things in jesus name amen god bless you everyone have a blessed day in jesus name amen